Hello and welcome to another episode of Blast Arcaded Painting. So lately there's been a lot of talk online about the Army Painter Speed Paints and Citadel's Contrast Paints, which one's better, what does what, and it got me thinking maybe I should do something completely heretical and mix the two. Wish me luck! <laughs> So I'm going to mix the contrast and the speed paints together in this video and I don't know how it's going to work out. Uh, there's no ratio, I just kind of mix them till they looked good. I'm not a scientist at all. As you can tell, I'm not a scientist. They don't let beards like this in lab laboratories? Laboratories? Science places. So, first thing I did was I gave them a spray of the Army Painter Matte White, and then I washed them down with a homemade black wash. So, first thing I did was I took Griff Charger Gray from Contrast and Gravelord Gray from Speed Paint, and I mixed the two together, and I put this on all the hoods and cloaks and capey bits. Uh, none of the raggedy uh, strands or whatever they are, or, or ropes, I don't know, I'm going to do something different with those. but. This went on pretty good for mixing these colors. Then I took Nasdrag Yellow and uh, Pallid Bone, mixed those two together, and I put this on all the wrappings and all the stringy bits and cords, and there's a lot of cords on these guys. Like they're wearing an interesting amount of rope and cord. I'm like, it's a skirt made of rope and cord. Like you're definitely, it's gonna be see-through if you're moving around a lot. Then I took Skeleton Horde and Pallid Bone and I mixed those two together. And they've got some armor bone bits that look like they're made out of bones, so I put it on all of those. I also put it on the uh, uh, haft and tips of the weapons, and on some of these have some of them have some sort of weird spider headdress thing. Put it on there too, pretty much everywhere. Then I took Volupus Pink and Blood Red. I put this on all the spiders on them, and also their uh, masks. Uh, some of them have like uh, spider hand coverings because their hands underneath so it's like a spider hand that they cut off I don't know <laughs> I don't know these guys are really strange um, and I put that I put that color on those I don't know Next, I mixed up some Iandin yellow and Zealot yellow. Zealot yellow. Zealot, Zealot. I don't know, Zealot. Zealot yellow. And I used this on the uh, frill of the spider frill on the leader. I don't know what that's called. Headdress, doesn't matter. And I also used it in the center of their uh, ornaments on their belts. Then I mixed Gore Grunt of Fur and Hardened Leather, and I'm going to use this on all their underwear because some of them have like little weird underwear that they're wearing in the wasteland. And I picked the color brown. <laughs> I'm just realizing it's probably not the best color for underwear. Here we go. One of the constant complaints about both the contrast paints and the speed paints is that no one has a decent purple. So I mixed Hive Dweller Purple and Magos Purple together and it worked out pretty good. Now for this color combination, I can at least say I used more Magos Purple than Hive Dweller because Hive Dweller is really dark and Magos is really light. And I use this for all the uh, skin. 
Next, I took some chain mail from Vallejo and I put that uh, around the ornaments, uh, little star parts around the ornaments, and also uh, on any of the halves of the weapon so they didn't look like they were all completely made from bone. And then I went to one of my favorite colors ever, which is Sun Yellow from Vallejo. I don't know why this yellow is the best. I love it. I love it. It's so good. You should just buy this color. I would drink that color if I could. I might still drink it even though I shouldn't. It just looks so delicious. Awesome and... Apparently there's a limit of how much you can talk about a yellow color because I just reached it. Anyway, I took this fantastic color and I dotted in their eyes, which they have many due to being spider people. In the description below, I will link to the Orc Commando video. There you can see basically how I do the bases for these kind of guys. I use the uh, sand Vallejo basing paste. I put some rocks in it that I stole from a nearby lake. They're, I don't know if it's theft. It's from a lake. And then uh, I will just put on a contrast paint. In this case, I use Agarost Dunes, and then I grab some Wasteland Tufts from the Army Painter, and I glued them on. Put that black rim around the base, and here they are. These guys turned out really good for the amount of time. Now I can go in and add some more details and stuff, but honestly for one coat, these look pretty decent. Um, there was a time where I probably couldn't have painted like that, even doing the regular methods, you know, the old days. But these look awesome. I was really happy with these. I do have to go in and finish that guy's base, but whatever, uh, just didn't paint that little stone part at all. Either way, I sat down for two hours and I painted these guys from start to finish, and I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, it was a fun project to mix those two paints together. So here's a strange thing. If you mix contrast and speed paints together, they seem to pull away more like speed paints and stain less as well. So they're getting, it seems like they have the, the better parts of speed paints and the better parts of contrast paints. And they aren't reactivating with paint. I don't know why, for whatever reason that mix shut down the reactivation they do still come off a little bit like if you handle the actual model too much it will come off but honestly it was a really interesting experiment I might do more like this just when I want to save time or I want to get something done fast and look good I'm really happy with it I'm sure some people will be upset that I even thought to mix the two together but that's, that's life Anyway, thank you so much for watching. As of this morning, I crossed the 100 subscriber threshold, so eventually I should get a custom URL for the channel. I want to thank every single one of you that helped me get to that. Um, it was the first goal I was trying to reach. I'm really happy. It's because of you guys, not because of me. I don't know why you're watching this. Again, in all sincerity, thank you guys so much. I hope we can get some more people and do some more fun stuff. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, thanks so much. Have a great day. Next, I took. Next, I took. Next, I took some tain mail. In the description below, I will link to my orc video where I can show you. In the link below. I will in the link below I will link the orc video that I did to show you how I do the bases for these guys it is the Vallejo uh, sand texture paste and once that dries I throw on a contrast paint in this case I used agarost dunes and then I
had some rocks in there. I put some rocks in the base. I can't talk out of my face. <laughs>